So thank you so much. Um, I'd like to invite the CEO and founder of ACT UP um, up here to announce our next special guest, uh, Mr. Adini Akine. All right, can we give a round of applause to Mr. Akini? Hello everyone, I hope you are enjoying yourself. If you are enjoying yourself, say yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Say yo, yo. Yes, you are all looking beautiful and you are wonderfully seated. Thank you for coming. We acknowledge the presence of all of you here, the dignitaries and all the people that have spoken. Uh, there's gonna be time for vote of thanks later and we shall be going into the contest, but we have our own very commissioner from the Victoria Multicultural Commission. This is the organization that is our own backbone of multiculturalism in Victoria, in Australia. So please, I have the honor to invite to the stage to give a keynote Honorable Commissioner Bill Pass Papaster Giras. I'm sorry, OAM. Please put your hands together for Honorable Bill. Please keep clapping, keep clapping. Yes. You know, he's here today and he's the one that will be presenting the award to all the winners and every honorary award that we are giving out. And uh, he's here today to let us know that we are going to get more support. So all of you, before you go, make sure you see him so that you get his contact. Yeah. Stay <laughs> Thank here, you, my friend. Stay with me. You look, you look beautiful today. I love, I love your outfit. Look, I've come dressed like a, oh. like a commissioner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I apologize for my outfit. Well, Ben, I do know the area because I used to play tennis with my son just up the road. Um, there's some tennis courts run by another... My background is Greek, and the tennis club is run by a Greek, um, a Greek person, Vergis. But, I mean, the story of all of us in this beautiful state is the story of multiculturalism. You know, it's a, it's, it's a state and really a country that post our indigenous people has been built on the back of migrants coming from all around the world. And I'd like to take this opportunity to also acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands upon which we meet and pay my respects to the elders past and present. But we all have a story to tell. My parents who came here in the 50s and 60s, um, a bit like in more recent times like yourself, um, don't find that initial journey very easy. And nor do their children find it particularly easy. But it's the job of all of us to ensure that we open up our hearts and our minds to the beauties of the world that we live in because it's that complexity, it's the honesty, and it's the art that we're here experiencing today that brings so much joy to us. And I've heard from so many of my Anglo-Saxon friends that the Greeks brought another dimension towards their food. And only last weekend, we had our Antipodes Festival in the city, which basically, in the corner of Lonsdale and Russell Street, was bathed in blue and white, which are the Greek national colors. So all of us, in our different ways, I bring an appreciation about the beautiful world that we live in, and that is the beauty of the Victorian Multicultural Commission, which is basically to acknowledge the work being done by so many others, but equally to create a platform for, the, platform for them and also to fund appropriate programs. Because in community groups, we're not, we're not there to make money. I'm the president of the Greek community of Melbourne. We're a non-for-profit organisation. We rely upon government to fund our education and our cultural programs. And that's why we're here today. And it's an opportunity for me to witness the splendor of the beauty of the work that's being put together by my good friend here in ACTAP, and then to create the platform for additional funding to happen because I will go back and report on all of this work, of course. And that's important. And government needs to hear this message. It is the role of government to represent each and every one of us, because we all count. And we all have, as we're gonna see here tonight, I've only come a little bit late, but all of us have their story to tell. Each and every story is important. Each and every story has a message. 
and each and every story has a history to it. Um, I, my own personal experience with your culture in some ways was when my father was in a nursing home and he was being looked after by some Sudanese people who showed such love and affection for my father that it opened my mind to that culture and I've become permanent friends with those people. So, you know, it's in little ways that we begin to acknowledge and respect and appreciate what each and every one of us bring. Um, I should acknowledge is Councillor Anthony Tran here with us today. Did he, was he here? Apology. He's an apology. Yeah. Rebecca Mundande. Yes, yes Rebecca. She just spoke now. Yes, Rebecca, great job. Of course, Patricia Barcotto, was she here? Yeah. Patricia, Patricia, welcome, of course. Mrs. Vicky Omifaliagi, yeah. not here. Yeah. Um, Mr. Suyadi Emmanuel. Emmanuel, is he here? On his way in Gregshire. Well, there's some of the people that I was asked to talk to. Um, the things, I want to finish on saying a couple of things because I don't want to take up too much time with the talking. We're here to listen. And I'm here to listen and I'm here to learn. But the things that I want to impart upon you is that the VMC um, has a VM Connect on its website page. In, on, and on that VM Connect website page, it lists the events, the organisation, the programs, the initiatives, the government services, and how to apply for grants. And that's the important thing. And we recently met with the grants people, and their message as they came to us, they said to us, well, Bill, you know, um, we get all these grants and they're not particularly well put together and we don't understand. And I said, stop. I said, stop. I said, when my mum was 80 years old and she made a grant for her little club in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne for $500 for coffee and biscuits for the year. And when she got that, that was the happiest day of her life. She can't write in Greek, let alone English. So don't come to us and tell us how hard it is for you to understand it. You need to understand how difficult it is for all of us to divide our time and effort as volunteers. So that is the job of the VMC. Firstly, for grants, so hop on to VM Connect. That's very important. And the second thing is, there's a multicultural film festival that is being um, undertaken in 2023. It's an annual festival, it's in its fifth year. So for you budding filmmakers, hop on the website, the VM Connect again through the VMC website, so as you can find further information to make sure that we screen your film. I personally love film. Um, and at the moment we have the Greek Film Festival running at the Astor and the Como. And we've got some amazing, in fact today, I'm here, not there, and we're running the Student Film Festival by all of the Greek students in Melbourne and each of their classes produces a film on a particular theme. But I've chosen to be here but film is an important part of the way we see ourselves and the rest of the world. I don't want to say anything else, really. I don't want to take up any more time. All the best. We're, we, we're here with you, my friend. You're looking fantastic. I love it. I wish I came appropriately dressed. Next year, I'll come better dressed, I promise. Have a great afternoon, and I look forward to the rest of the afternoon with you. Is that all you can do? Please keep clapping. Wow. Didn't you hear the good news? I need to let you know that this event, we didn't get any grants from the government or anybody. We only get some donation and partnership. And I want to use this opportunity to thank Afri Oz Iliak for the partnership, for supporting us, and for also making commitment. Thank you so much, Ambassador Mrs. Rebecca Pande. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you, Adini. Thank you, Commissioner, uh, for being with us today.